Hey guys, it's Joanna, Naturally Motivated Lady. Welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you can enjoy my upcoming videos. There are so many positive things that I absolutely love about having locks. And you can check out my previous videos to see some of those wonderful benefits. But in this video, I want to share with you two things that can cause you to be really frustrated with the way that your locks look. If you plan on locking your hair or if you've already locked your hair, I want you to be happy with your locks and, and really enjoy them. And I wish someone had explained both of these things to me before I started locks. So I'm gonna show you all some really close up video of my locks and talk about these two things that you need to know about before getting locks, especially the second thing. So watch through to the end. All right, so the first thing is frizz. There are so many videos out there that try to tell you how to get rid of frizz or how to prevent frizz. I'm now four years locked and my locks are still just as frizzy as they were in year one. Some people's locks smooth out over time, but I want you to understand that some people's locks don't do that. And that's okay, it's completely normal. Locks are tangled, matted hairs, and frizz just comes with the territory. Now, there are ways of minimizing frizz, like wrapping the stray hairs around the lock, the lock that it belongs to, and then some people palm roll. They palm roll the length of their locks in order to help to smooth it out. Others take more drastic measures and go as far as trimming the frizz from their locks with hair shears or scissors. Now, you're free to do whatever you want with your locks, but I can tell you that going along your locks and snipping the frizz from them can end up costing you your locks. You can easily cause um, thinning and breakage throughout your locks by doing that. You're essentially cutting and disturbing the matrix or the tangles that make up each of your locks. And in my opinion, that's not a good idea. Personally, I made a decision to accept the fact that my locks are frizzy, okay? <laughs> True, you can manipulate and maintain your locks in a way that encourages them to look a certain way or to be more manicured, but ultimately your locks are gonna do what they wanna do. And you guys, in my book, Life Lessons and Locks, I get into details about many of the pros and cons of having locks. And by the way, Life Lessons and Locks is currently a number one new release on Amazon. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link in the description box to get your copy. And also, tell me in the comments if your locks are really frizzy or if the frizz bothers you at all. So let me go ahead and show you what my four-year-old locks look like. So this is my hair unstretched. My last wash day was about four or five days ago. I also did a retightening at that time while I let my hair air dry. And as you can see, my hair is still very light and bouncy. However, it is still quite frizzy. Now this clip was taken just before my last retie. The roots were really frizzy as usual. Now this clip is after my retie. This is what the length of my locks currently look like. Still frizzy even towards the middle and ends. Now let's get a closer look. Can you see the little white specks all over my locks? They really stand out on my dark hair. Now if someone gets extremely close to you and they're looking very closely at your hair, they could incorrectly assume that your hair is dirty or that you have dandruff or flakes all over your hair when that's just not the case. Even though we regularly wash our hair and keep it clean, these annoying little white dots can show up. And by the way, it doesn't matter if you have large locks, small locks, sister locks, these little white specks can show up in your locks regardless of the size. So what are these white dots? Well, everybody's hair sheds. It's normal to lose 50 to 100 hairs a day. If you have loose hair, when your hair sheds, it ends up in your brush, in the comb, it falls in the shower, falls on the floor, it falls in your bed when you're sleeping. You get it, our hair is 
constantly shedding. But when our hair is in locks, the shedded hair is not released from the lock and the shed hairs actually become a part of the lock. So when a hair follicle releases a strand of hair, that strand still has the bulb attached to it or that little white dot that's attached to it. Simply stated, it's shedded hair with the bulb at the end. I've heard of people dyeing their hair to make the white bulbs less noticeable. And some people even try to snip them off. Personally, I don't like the idea of snipping anything off my locks. Inevitably, I would end up snipping some of the frizz off of my locks. And as I explained before, I'm sure that that would weaken the structure of my locks, causing thinning and breakage. I mentioned a few ways that people try to reduce frizz and get rid of the white dots, but please, if you try one of these methods, you definitely want to further research it first. But quite frankly, I think frizz as well as the little white dots, they just come along with the territory of having locks. I like to know what I'm getting into before I start something. So these are two things that I wish that someone had explained to me before I got locks. And these are topics that I want you to be aware of before you start your lock journey or if you're just starting your lock journey. So take a second and thumbs up the video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. I appreciate you watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.